episode, and like I said I was going to, I actually took and moved this world into expert mode. So things are going to be a bit tougher, which is good, because I, I wasn't feeling really threatened at all. So it's like, might as well do something about that, right? Uh, things have done off camera. I replaced the doors with blocks and actuators. Which means that I don't have to put up with zombies banging on my door when I'm down in my base actually doing stuff. Especially like during a blood moon. Made myself a blue mushroom farm. Started putting a house in here for the mushroom PC once it gets to hard mode. Haven't really finished it yet because as soon as I do, the dietrator is probably going to move in. And I want to put him in a special house. So I'm not going to bother with that yet. Dug this down a bit, I got myself a little fishing pond here. And then flatten this out. Got a royal tree farm going now. Kind of a small one, but it works, right? Gets the job done. Let's see, acorns. Now, the cool thing with acorns is the new uh, the auto mine. Well, automatically space them out for you so you don't have to worry about overlapping. Definitely handy if you're doing a tree farm like this. I may actually end up doing a more advanced, like, uh, Yuramir tree farm, like he showcased on his channel. The whole thing gets harvested with lava, it's great. It's easy. You go up to the top, drop the bucket of lava, and it pops every tree up for you. <clears throat> Drink of water. But because the lava's not deep enough, it doesn't burn any of the wood up. It's great. A whole lot less effort to it. But what am I going to do right now, actually, is... Well, it's expert mode. I need to get some bosses. There he is. 100 damage? Yeah. No. I did make some mana cups, too. I finally found a band of regeneration. I need to find another one now. I want a philosopher stone. Or the charm of myths, I should say. I to get the hard mode. Another band regeneration left. Alright, now comes the fun part. First of all, take care of this form of minions. And I'm just gonna fire a ton of shots that way. Because it'll start ricocheting back and forth. So, it's definitely plus. It's one of the reasons I had to set up this way. Come over here to this side. Come here, eye off. doing a decent amount of damage. I'm not too concerned about it, actually. Though. There we go. I'm looking for a good lighting solution for the side of my pyramid. I don't... If I put torches down, it's going to flatten some rocks. It's not going to be the same. And he just did 60 damage to me. I'm going to around us. Oh, yeah. Right, there we go. But yeah, if I put a torch down, it does that number. And I don't like that. I, there's a reason I've got it all flattened out, and torches kind of ruin that. Now, the reason I was firing all those walls... Oh, I was firing them too high. I got a wall right here, and it should have been bouncing back and forth. But, it does mean... Yep, there we go. There was one shot that actually connected on something and came back. There's some more... <laughs> Yeah. They're going to be going all the way over to like here, bouncing off the dungeon and stuff to come back, so it's going to take a while. Now, I did try planting grass down here. However, I'm an idiot. I forgot that below surface level, grass will not spread on its own. So either I got to invest in a ton of glow sticks, or not glow sticks, uh, grass seeds, or I need to find myself a staff of regrowth. Staff of regrowth, I think, would be the best option, because it also does wonders on potions, which we're going to go check out. I finally started a potion farm. Finally. And it's not organized at all yet. That's probably going to bug the hell out of some people, but deal with it for now, guys. <clears throat> I've got a little bit of everything growing, but I've got a ton of moon glow, blink root, and day blooms going. So I'm not going to harvest right now because A, it's on camera, and B, I've got over a stack of blink root. 
I don't really need any more of that right here at this moment. 37 Waterly, 38 Moon Glow, almost a full stack of Day Blue. I am set for a while when it comes to potions. And my neighbor's car alarm's going off. Yay, because they're idiots. They always set the stupid thing off when they go to lock it. Alright, treasure bag. Aya Cthulhu, Corrupt Seeds, Unholy Arrows, Demonite. Don't need any of that stuff. And the Hard Shield of Cthulhu. So put that there. Now I'm like straight up styling. I got myself a Cthulhu Shield. I actually now have a fart in a jar rather than the cloud in a jar because I could not find... Well, there's no sandstorm in a jar on this map. This pyramid had the pharaoh costume instead, which is a big gyp. I hate that thing. That should be an optional bonus instead of replacing like the sandstorm or the magic carpet. So, I'm a little bit bitter about that. But, did manage to get a whoopee cushion, so I made a fart in a jar. So until hard mode, you guys are going to have to deal with party noises. But it is a lot better. It's like a little over twice as good as a cloud in a jar when it comes in. Or whenever it comes in. Whenever it, uh, you use a double jump. So it just works out a whole lot better in the long run. A lot more maneuverability and stuff. I still... I don't think I have... checked. I haven't checked the side of the map yet for floating islands. I'll do that off camera. Not much point, right? But... Uh, let's do that real quick, actually. Uh, gravitation potion. What time is it? 2 a.m. Fuck. I know what I can do while I'm waiting for the sun to come up. Let's go uh, try to take on the Eater of Worlds. Basic jungle gear. A little bit extra. Ooh, more trees. Uh, a little bit extra defense from accessories. And that's about it. I don't think I actually have... Yeah, I don't have any buffs. Ooh. I can eat. Eating's good, right? Nope. I don't have a horseshoe. Since I can't make the bundle of balloons right now, what I really want from the floating islands is the uh, shiny red balloon and the lucky horseshoe. So I can make the green horseshoe balloon. I think is what it is. So I can get the extra jump height. I can get the fall damage prevention. And I can replace it when I get to hard mode. Okay, so, worm food. I am one. I need a couple more mushrooms, and I need one more rotten chunk to make a second one. So, alright. Let's do this thing. Yeah, you can just spam push this thing. And it, uh, doesn't hit nearly as hard as it can. Okay, yeah, I'm taking a lot more damage than I thought it was. But it, uh, fires a lot quicker, otherwise it's like a three second build up. Oh, look, he's dead. The Medusa head rocks. Just saying, that's... It was actually, against him, it was kind of worth farming for. Or against multiple type Sigma type enemies anyway, it was worth running for. Now it's 4 o'clock. And so I think actually I'm going to cut here. And there's the rotten chunk I need. Now I just need 10 more Val powders. Come on, guys, get out of here. Get out. Yeah. Oh, I made a self too. It's handy. It gives me access to all the info I want without taking up all my inventory. See, I'm going to go ahead and cut here, and I shall see you guys whenever I'm ready to go searching for islands, because it's going to be a few minutes worth light enough to see outside. All right, well, it's gotten a little bit later, so I think I'm going to head off here in a second. Um, yeah, I do have my good money drop. I want to make sure I had that with me. Oh, yes, let's open this. 90 shadow skills. Holy crap, 90? Worm scarf. Yeah, I'm putting that on. No, I, I have a little tail following me around. Cool. And actually, um, actually I'm actually going to put that on there. Instead of the shark tooth necklace. Because, well. Oh, and I did fight a king slime off camera, too. But, uh. That happened before I even started recording today. Oops. I think I got the clip of that. If I did, then you guys have already seen that. <laughs> I can't remember off the top of my head. But yeah, 17% damage reduction. Awesome. Then, yep. Yeah, 
Magic Cups reduce or increases max mana by 20, restores mana when damaged. And then the rewarding actually got lucky. Those first three ports I got on it. But yeah, I'm getting rather low on money. That was one of the reasons for the boss fights. Because I didn't even have the money to buy a safe with. So, just reforging. I blame it. And, well, dynamite. Because, you'll notice, this section's gone. <laughs> I just got rid of it. It's all in a chest right now. A couple of chests, probably. But, yeah. Got rid of it. That's going to be probably my arena in the future, actually. I'm going to build it just right there. So, I die. Spawn here. I'm going to hook a teleporter up from here to the top where the campfire is. The campfire is going to move. And then it's just a job of running down the side of the pyramid real quick, and I'm back in my arena. So hopefully it'll work out well. Okay, 7 a.m. Yeah, should be a time. Get up. Turn to speed first. And let's see if we can find some islands. Do, 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 do. Hello, Mr. Island. Alright, what do we got? Balloon? Nice, the balloon helps. That's one thing I always want. Alright, oh. Onwards! Let's zoom map and map a bit too. Is there one on top of the dungeon? Doesn't really look like it. I hate how my map reacts whenever I'm recording. It's like chunky, or it does little spots. It doesn't actually do it fluidly. Uh, okay, that's the end of the map. Well. Oh, I'm <laughs> still falling up. Oops. Uh, space gun should throw off more light. Let's throw that down. Okay. Ooh, chest. Uh, breathing reed. Jump off the chest, though. Another chest. Flippers. Got a set somewhere. Oh. I am about to drown. Chest. Trident. No. Oh, come on. Let me out. Here we go. Yeah, I've never actually been over here, so... First time for everything. Ooh, look, hand slime. Thank you. Strange plant. I'll take that. And now we're at the back to the dungeon. Let's see, yeah, let's see. I have like 52 seconds left on my gravitation potion. What did I just take? I glitched into that a bit and I actually just took damage from that wall. Alright, and stand on that excellent hit. He's dead now too. That's the fourth one on this map. Wow. <laughs> the tenth vulture. You know, I'll just do that instead. Now we come down here to our tinker's workshop. And fart in a balloon. Hard. That's plus one defense, huh? What's my defense at? It? 26? Yeah, I can deal with that for now. Ooh, I jump a lot higher now. I like that. Let's come out here and find out exactly how much. Oh, yeah, that's nice. And then. Oh, that's great. Yeah, that'll really help. Kill the slime. Let's go grab another gravitation potion or two, though, because we need to do the other half of the map completely still. Um, is it which box are they in? Second box? Yes, second. Yeah, let's grab two of those. Let's go ahead and favorite them. And we're just gonna quick stack some stuff into chests. And let's just. Why did it not? Oh, that's the scour chest, not the. Uh, I thought that was the. Oh, what you call it? Thing. Water chest. That's it. That's, that's where I was looking for. Uh, I did not have one with strange plants yet, huh? Cool. Oh, it's in there now. Water leaf will go down below. Uh, bunnies. Bunnies can go there for now. Yeah, water leaf will go over here. Yeah, look at all the day blooms sitting there. 
I am set for a while. Okay, now we gotta go back towards the center of the map. Which, thank god, I did a small world this time. So, it won't take all that long, hopefully. But I am going to go through and, like, somewhat flatten the world out so it makes it a little easier to get around. It'll come into handy in hard mode. Because I'm going to try to blitz hard mode if I can. So that way I can kill Plantera and uh, slow down the corruption and hollow spreads before the world becomes completely devastated. Because I would like to keep a lot of my underground pristine if I can. Although I'm not sure if there's much point in that with a mage character and the fact that the enemies are easier. Uh, let's see. Oh, yeah. Um... Let's go back to the corruption and pop the first one. Let's go ahead and put those in the hotbar. Yeah. Oh, hello, Mr. Slime. Didn't see you there. Busy looking at my hotbar. Alright, well, here's the desert. They're never usually directly, like, over spawn. But I want to double check that there is a die. Thank you. Uh, isn't one, like, over here freakily enough or whatever? Oh! up because it's oh so useful right and nothing yet okay I got three minutes I'm gonna deselect that so I don't accidentally use the second one early because that would be a really bad thing Gotta be something out here, right? Bum, ba -dum, bum, bum. And let's see. Nothing yet, huh? Watch there be only one more island in this entire world. Okay, sweet. Okay, I was gonna say, watch there be only one more, and it's another one of those fishing ones. A lot of gold up here, cool. Star Fury. Joy. Can't use it. Alright, oh. Up we go. Do, 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 do. I really want like the key or the uh, Martian key or something like that for the Martian car, or even the, uh, the mining thing. Would be nice. So with the pig rod mount, actually. <laughs> Any of the flying mounts would be awesome right now. Infinite flying. Infinite flying rocks. Oh yeah, and I had a third meteor hit right next to the second one. Right here. This is the third one. The second one came down right here. <laughs> so, ah! Don't fall in. Thank you. And I have kind of cleared up that corruption a little tiny bit. I don't see any more islands, actually. I think that was it. I think we got screwed out of a horseshoe. So that means I am going to need to go fishing for sky crates because I really want that horseshoe. And let's see. Oh, that's why I was shooting for fish. I'm almost out of mana already. Bad things happen when you run out of mana. Alright, um, glow stick. I keep forgetting, even though I have the space gun, I don't have the armor to go with it. Was there only one chest in this side? Yeah, it looks like it. A lot of coral, though. But this thing, I think this ocean here is like Dunzo. That's kind of it. Because I got the corruption like right here on the bank. This is uncorrupted here. So, I don't know. I guess I could kind of like coordinate it off. Kind of. I have to do a better job of it than I did in the last world, though. Dead slime. Alright, so we have the Mystical Magical Star Fury, which is absolutely useless to us. Hooray! Um, bottle of water. Bottles of water. Where? I really need to do a storage room next. I need to do it before hard mode, too. Alright, crafting. Bottle of water. I want to know how to do the wonderful thing called a crate potion that. Amber 
Deathbeat Moonglow. Okay then. Do I have an extractinator set up anywhere yet? I know I've picked one up, so if it's not set up, it should be <clears throat> right in a chest here. There we go, I got three of them. Alright, now slush and silt. Because I need amber, that's the only way to get it. There's some slush. There's a ton of slush in the ground underneath me, but I'm not going digging for slush on camera. Hashtag bad YouTuber. I don't have enough interesting stories to tell and so on and so forth right now. You know, well, prepared anyway. I imagine I could, but let's put that move away. Um, yeah, I'm not too good at telling stories and whatnot on the fly. I'm going to have to stop and think about what I'm going to talk about first. And four, four blocks of silt. That was it. All right. Um, Dryad, you are going to temporarily house the extractinator. A little bit of lead. All right. Um, what's... Okay, space gun selected. Oh, there's one amber. Cool. I already have one piece up above, too, so... When I start doing more fishing quests for the angler, then I can get uh, more crate potions as rewards, which actually helps quite a bit. There's two pieces of amber. Alright, so three pieces plus the one I have, that's four. I should... Ah! Get up here. Should be able to do that, actually. Um, you know, I'm just gonna grab all these because it makes sense to have all that down by my potion area, doesn't it? All right, well, we're going to do that so I don't accidentally stack that in. I'm going to there. Inventory is a lot more clear now. Sweet. All right, silver ore can go in there. bugging the hell out of me. Ah, there it is. Amber. So we have four pieces of amber. And I'm going to come down here now. And like say right here is going to be a water tile. So I can make bottled water easy. There we go. We got 55 of those now. Let me open this sucker up. Bring up this and say create potions. Make all of them. Five. Okay, so I got an extra one. And it's because I ran out of amber. Alright, not a problem. So we'll put that in here. Uh, day bloom, day bloom seed. I'm gonna put the rotten chunks in here. Because they're more useful for potions than anything else. Is that ten ore? Yeah, that's not useful for potions at all. Alright, somebody for the shop. Uh clothe the air. Clive, whatever the hell your name is. Uh, Star Fury, one gold. Goodbye. And lead ore. I will keep that for potions, actually, because I have iron in this world. I'll sell those ropes off to you. A beanie. Hmm. Should I? Should I? Oh, well. And now, before I forget, like I have been before, today, shop. I want a safe. I'm just going to park that right there for now. But now, I have a safe I can take with me whenever I go places. Oh, I forgot to show it off. I actually did make, or dig a elevator. I haven't dropped a rope or anything down it yet. Probably be a good idea to do it. But it's a three wide shaft straight to hell. So. That'll help out when I go to fight the wall of flesh. But first, I'm going to have to... Make it safe. So. That is the thing. It's nighttime and he's actually sitting down. And... Wow. Okay. So if they sit, apparently they stay sitting until their AI tells them to move. Oh look, angel with sky lakes. I need bow. Or not bow. Fishing rod. Actually. Um, let's see. Uh, Fisher of Souls. I've been kind of holding off because I've been waiting for the stupid... What's his face to show up? Traveling merchant and sell me the sitting duck fishing rod, fishing rod, fishing pole, water. But 
He's been a jerk and not showing up. Or not, it's not selling that when he does show up, I should say. Oh, I have some desert fossils too I could have done up. Whoops. Um, let's grab that lead out too. We'll drop that off later at the, uh... So how does the beanie look? Hmm, maybe. I'll think about it. Uh, do I have any fishing potion? No, I don't. Oh, uh, what goes into a fishing potion? I don't remember. Hopefully it's stuff I have. Alright, crafting... No, it requires burnt honey blocks. I don't have any. That's right. Alright. Well, good news is, well, I do have a little fishing area here. That's not where I want. I have a rope, though, heading up to that sky lake. So, that, oh, bait. Bait, 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 bait. I don't have it separated out yet. Oh, I'm such, such an idiot sometimes. Okay. We good? I think we're good. Goldfish needs to be there. I've been collecting goldfish and rabbits so I can get uh, banners, actually. So I can. Because my main 1 3 world is a. Uh, that's a crimson world. Okay, let's pop one of these bad boys. And start fishing up. Oh, hello. But. The crimson guys, because they have the, uh, the crimson rabbits and the uh, crimson goldfish and stuff, they don't, they don't have banners of their own, and they don't drop the corrupted guys' banners, so it's like, well, that sucks. So this is a corruption world, so I can get corrupted Benny, I can get corrupted penguin, angelfish, cool, I got the quest word. Um, crate, alright, I want a sky crate. Give it to me. And you guys are seriously going to annoy the hell out of me. Thank you. Uh, and of course, of course, you can die now. Thank you. Give me a sky crate. Yeah, now I can get those banners. So I've already got the corrupted. Oh no. Did I have the corrupted penguin banner already? I know the regular penguin banner. All right. Look, jerk! Fuck off! Alright, you know what? No, I'm not dealing with your crap. Go away! And it... As long as you leave one tile gap, then it doesn't, like, shut down your fishing ability, which is nice. <sighs> Please, before my potion wears out. There we go. Okay. Wooden crate. Nice. Bass, can you shoot me from there, or can I just leave you there? You can shoot me from there. Get out. Alright, now I need to take this out. You see how the little line of water, or the brightness on the top of the water has gone away now? That means it's gonna mess with the fishing power, or the, uh... Not the power the size of the lake, so it determines what you can catch. Now I'm just waiting for one of those bastards to come up my rope. Come on! Okay, four, three, two, one, and a bass. Alright. Come on. You can do it. Ah, wouldn't great. But as long as it has that little, like, white line at the top there, you're fine. Go away. Thank you. Because then it it won't interfere with the size of your lake at all. Which is actually helpful. Do -do 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 -do. Alright, I need to take off before 4.30am though, because I want to turn in the quest fish before it changes to a new one. If I'm lucky, it'll be something else I can catch up here. 
not, then either let's go elsewhere or just forget about it and try again later. Alright, you jerks. Weapon with almost no knockback. So that way you stay put so I can massacre you. Oh. Seriously. Back off. Alright, come on. Give me what I want. Don't you... Ah. Fishing in Sky Lakes. Annoying as hell. Even worse in hard mode. Because then you have to deal with wyverns. Damselfish. That's calling potions. That actually would be a nice thing to have right now. Oh, get out of here. Oh my god! Get out of here! Nobody loves you! Not even your own mother! Alright, beat it! Alright, 31 seconds. I am not going to be able to make it out. Alright. What do I get? Journeyman bait, two fishing potions. Nice. Oh, that is so nice. Thank you, Mr. Angler boy thing. Alright, now it's daytime, so the spawn rate should be reduced. Which is a good thing. Oh, hey, why did my double jump not reset there? Alright. Now we go through, and I just say, screw the damn harpies. Some of them will spawn in the lake, though. So let's leave them away out on the other side without having to come freaking harass me. Here we go. Alright. Do, 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 do. Damselfish. Oh, yeah. Potion. Potion. This should speed things up quite a bit. Just give me a sky crate that has what I want in it. Is that so hard to... Is that too much to ask for a game? Please. Maybe, kind of, sort of... Quit being a dick. Come on. More bass. All the bats. I need to make a cooking pot, it looks like. I need to make room for my witch doctor, wooden crate, and the die trader, and, I, and then the party girl. Now I'll have all three hardwood NPCs, actually. Golden crate! Sweet, but not what I'm looking for. Get the hell out of here! Gone, foul beast. Thank you. Jerks. Bass. Ah. Uh, here comes another one. More damselfish. favorite and just like explode into a mass of guts and feathers. Just leave me alone. Do 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 come on. Fishing, yes, maybe. Kind of sorta. Possibly. Wooden crate. Hooray, that is now seven of them. Do 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 do. Which I'm going to be saving for hard mode. Oh, 
What is so hard about getting a damn sky crate? Die. I got 36 seconds left. Give me a sky crate. Just one. Just, just one of them. Just one of them I want. Come on. You can do it. Actually, I haven't beaten the Queen Bee yet. No, well, that's right. I was going to, and then I was like, screw it. I'm going to expert mode. So I can't get to Wichita. And by extension, I can't get to Party Girl. Party Girl requires you to have pretty much all the other... NPCs first. And then you have a 2% chance for her actually showing up. Including after she dies. Alright. Sweet parties. Oh, come on. Is that, is that a wrong angle to get in there? There we go. That's not a wrong angle to get in there. Give me all those. All that stuff. One gold, though. That was kind of worth it, I guess. Alright, money trough. Golden crate and wooden crates are going there for now. I'm not going to use those. I'm going to save them for hard mode. Because, well, I don't really... don't really need any, like, ores or anything right now. I'm doing pretty good. Random potions would be kind of helpful. But it's heavily weighted towards the lesser potions, so... Yeah, it's kind of a... I need to probably put at least the damselfish down here. Alright. I'm going to make so many potions in the future. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and call this an episode. I've been doing weird things and rambling on for long enough now. And Next time, I think we're going to uh, fight the Queen Bee. I could, like, try to do a... Uh, expert mode Skeletron, but it's the glove. I can't use it anyway. You know, it's throwing damage, so... It's not magic, so... Here we go. Not useful to me. Duck! Oh, that's right. Medusa does not work on critters. Are you gonna land, like, right here and then be cool with me? Alright, you're my new pet. Yep, I'm going to go ahead and sign off here, and I shall see you guys next time.